with two bitches at Pam. Fuck up a check like I'm signed to a label. Bubba Ray Dudley, I fuck up the table. Set that boy up, my little bitch gonna bait him. Slide in that DM, you know we gon' play him. Prime time so player, he shining, I hate him. Look at me wrong, that boy Yak's gonna bang him. Don't mention, buddy, I try hard to save him. I just might pour up a cup of that whack. I just might fuck up that pass of the rack. I had that YouTuber giving me slap. I hit my dance like I'm Scotty too hot. These bitches easy. If she in my vlog, then you know that I beat it. Fuck a home once, now she don't wanna leave me. All y'all boy diamonds be looking so cheesy. What it do, man? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Prime Time. Hit the pin with Must pay the fee to lay with me. I'm finna do a Q and A. It's been a minute, but this ain't just no regular Q and A. It's like a Q and A slash like advice because a lot of my supporters and fans want advice from me. You feel me? When it kind of like just life or just females in general. So I got a lovely lady here with me today. You know what I'm saying? Winning the Barbie, shout out to her. I'ma let her read the questions. I don't even wanna choose the questions or whatever. I'ma let her do it. And we are gonna get into it straight like that. If you're new to this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know it's been a minute since I've been on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Prime Time Living TV as well, but I'm gonna be back on here consistently. You know Prime Total coming up and you know how I give it up during the month of October. So one of your fans wants to know, I'm gonna just jump right in with the one I like first. Okay, okay. okay. Is she a thought if you hit on the first night? Is she a thought if you hit on the first night? Nah. Why? See, okay, let, let me tell y'all folks this. Prime family, we don't judge women. You know what I'm saying? We not judge, we not here to judge women. That's not, that ain't that ain't bull, that ain't cool, that ain't play. We not here to judge. Um, Fucking on the first night doesn't necessarily make you a thought. You know what I'm saying? We all grown. We over 18, you grown. And it's a stereotype that niggas just be wanting to fuck, but females just be wanting to fuck just as much. You know what I'm saying? Is it true or not? Okay. True, right? Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah, true. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? If a girl wanna fuck me on the first night, I'm not finna judge. Like. I still will get to know you. You feel me? If you cute, you know what I'm saying? It might just be an attraction thing. We might just find each other so attractive. And we just want to go ahead and just do that. Would you take her serious? Yeah, that I would feel like that's her? I feel like that's not a reason to take a girl like serious if she's fucking on the first night. Like I, I'm not finna say, oh I ain't I ain't taking her serious. She fucking me on the first night. Cause we grown. So you still gotta get to know her and see, you know, what she about. She ain't a thought. You know what I'm saying? Be different reasons to why that be happening on the first night. So your next supporter asks, how did you tra transition from a nine to five to being self-employed? Uh, good question. So back in the day, I used to work at the airport and shit like that. The transition was kind of crazy. I just never really seen myself working for somebody for the rest of my life. I wasn't that type of person for a for real. Like back when I was in school and shit, I thought I was gonna be an athlete. So that's what I thought I was gonna do. Play football or play soccer or something like I thought I was gonna be an athlete, but when I started getting to the real world, I, I worked a job, or whatever, and I just seen myself like never doing this again. Like, I did for one year, and that was that. After, after that, after I quit, I, like quitting was jumping off the porch for me. Like when you quit your job and you have nothing, you turn into a hustle automatically. You start doing shit for the bread, like you start finding little different hustles. And I ain't just telling you to go out there and do everything illegal, but. You know what I'm saying? You know how you live. I was doing all type of shit. And, you know, it all started from there. You gotta jump out of the porch though. You gotta have faith in yourself. How do you feel about the fact people say you don't respect women? People that's crazy that? to me. Yeah, that's so crazy. People be, Cause it's like, I don't know, like, that's so crazy to me because I, I respect women. Like, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of these women don't even be having respect for themselves. So the females that come around me, you know, people might peep I don't respect them. I, I I I treat you how you treat yourself, to be honest. Like if you go for certain like I only do what women allow. Like let's like be real. Like I only do what women allow, bro. I respect women, bro. I I I am raised by a single mama. So, you know what I'm saying? I I I bow down to the queens. But it's just like I do what you allow. And if some females ain't going for that shit, then I ain't doing certain shit. Cause damn, look, baby, you ain't going for it, huh? Let me stop playing with you. Yeah, but if you going for it, I'm gonna run circles around your head. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being Not real. circles around I'm your head. I'm just saying though, cause it's just like, you gotta respect yourself. Then want respect from a man. That's true. It's facts. Someone else asked, 
do you have a type? And if so, what is it? Man, prime like a mom, man. Uh, if you find, you find. Like, but I, it definitely, like, it's more than just being fine now that I'm older. You know what I'm saying? Your maturity level has to be here. I really like women to be way more mature than me. Like, I like, you know, I want to be so smart, like, intellectual, um, down to earth, outgoing, like, shit like that will win me over as far as like wanting to get to know you and shit like that. Being yourself, not insecure, you know, knowing what you got going on as a woman, like, that'd be my type, like, money, you know, hustler, go get her, like, I like, I like them type, that's, that's my type. But I don't really got no skin preference. I know I always say in my videos, if it ain't brown, it ain't going down with the woo, I just be, you know, I like, I like brown skin women. I like light skin women too, just as much. Uh, I never really dated a white girl, but I'm not saying I wouldn't either, so, yeah. When is Pimp Take 2 dropping? Pimp Take 2 dropping? Damn, that's a good question. Great question. Um, I don't want to lie to y'all and drop a date because I do not have a date for the Pimp Take 2 quite yet. You know what I'm saying? Um. I'm getting that together right now. Really, I'm working on singles and dropping hella music videos opposed to a tape. So I'm gonna keep y'all updated on the pimp tape too. How to move on from a toxic ex? Or how do you move on from a toxic ex? Shit. You should be the toxic ex and have the ex move on from you. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but uh, shit, how to move on from a toxic ex? How you move on from a toxic ex? I think, mm, I think I was a toxic ex. I don't know though, I don't live in one relationship, so like, I, 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 I get out there and talk to people, I don't know. Somebody, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you moving on from a toxic ex, you just completely cut them off, like, Cut off all communication, like, and get back up with them later on in life. Let them do them, you know what I'm saying? Cut them off, stop texting them, stop looking at their page. Yeah, that's the number one thing. That'd be so hard. Like, when I was going through it with my ex, you gotta stop looking at the page. Cause talking to them, stop talking to them, yeah, that's the first step, of course. But the page shit, stop looking at the page. To go on, follow them, to go on, block them, like, do what you gotta do. But don't get a fake page and look at the page. Don't do none of that dumb shit because you're going to still be attached. So let that shit go. You just got to let them go all the way, 100%. Is there anyone you fell off with that you'd want to become back cool with again? Anyone that we may know of? Mmm. Um. I wouldn't mind being cool with, uh, this girl named Des Davila again. Um, she was cool, man. And I thought I put her through. Uh, she just came in the game in such a. It was such a bad stop for her because of how she came in the game with fucking with me on the on the YouTube aspect. Um, she came in the game on some bullshit because it was she was in between me and my ex and shit. But uh, I felt like. A lot of shit that went on, um, she really deserved a lot of shit that was going on. So I was like, but the thing is, shit crazy, because last year we even tried to goddamn be cool with something else what happened. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just a toxic nigga or what, but like, damn, like, I don't know. I would be back cool with her, though, if that was ever happened. So do you have any advice for young men and women trying to find their purpose? Listen up. Find what you love to do, man. Figure out, figure it out what it is that you want to do in life. You feel me? Like, just figure that shit out, and then be consistent with it and give it your all. You can't give it thirty percent and expect results. Like, what was I telling you earlier about the YouTube shit? Consistency. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta give it your all because, let's say you want to be a, a football player or whatever the case may be. Bro, if you're not in that weight room day and night, 
if you're not running routes on your off time, throwing the football on your off time, like really doing shit on the downtime, bro, you're not gonna you're not gonna make it. But if you're not doing shit on the downtime, that means you're not giving it 100. percent You gotta give it 100, percent or you won't see results. Like, okay, let's say I want to get big. If I'm not in the weight room doing heavy weight, if I'm doing light shit, I'm not gonna see no results. You're not gonna get nowhere. So it's like whatever you want to do in life, you gotta give it your all. You gotta get that shit a thousand percent and block everything else out. Like block that shit out and do what you really want to do. And that's how you really stay on your purpose, man. Just make sure you're getting up in the morning, be productive, you know, towards your goal. Don't be doing shit outside your goal. If you don't need to be partying, don't party. Buy thousand, fifteen hundred dollar sections. If you ain't reach your goal, see niggas. That's getting money and shit like that, and that's high on a certain level. They already reached their girls. They already, so they can do the party, buying the bottles, fucking many bitches, having bitches in their city. They can do that because they already reached their goals. You feel what I'm saying? So just like that's all. Right. That's some advice right there. Just be consistent with it, man. Every day. So how do you feel like you can get more confident with getting girls? Like, how would you give advice? That confidence shit really got to be in you. Um, basically, when it, like, don't you're not supposed to really doubt yourself. Like, if you see a bad girl over there, just know you can get her already. Like, don't be scared to introduce yourself. Don't be scared to say hi. Do you like um, niggas that ain't confident? No. How you like niggas to approach you? Um, I mean, I actually don't like being approached. All right, but if a nigga was to approach you, okay. Like, how you doing? What's up? My name. What's your name? That's cool, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But it has to come off as confident, though. Not like, hey, how you doing? No. Like, you know what I'm saying? Scary. Like a shit. firm, like grip. You gonna shake my hand? Like a firm grip. No, mm-hmm. like shaking. Um, yeah, eye contact. I like eye contact too. It's a girl telling y'all now what she would prefer. Mm-hmm. So it ain't just me talking, like. She right here telling you she prefer the eye contact when you walk up on her. Hey, what's up, beautiful? Look her in the eye. What's up, baby? You know what I'm saying? Her good hand shake. Yeah, like, oh. if you want to shake a hand, something like shake a hand. I, I, I jump out of the rib. I give her a hug. That's hey, too. Hey, what's up, baby? What type, what type of perfume you got? That shit smells good, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a fast talking nigga. I, I come up with shit off the dome like, yeah, you smell good. What that is, Baccarat? Like, you know, I don't even smell it for her. I just, I'm lying. Sometimes I might smell it, but you know what I'm saying? But that's a compliment right there. Like, letting her know she smell good, then she gonna be feeling herself. She gonna smile, just like how she just smiled. I wasn't talking to her. She gonna smile, it's an automatic, no, but it, I'm saying, it's an automatic smile within what the nigga just said. Cause it's a compliment. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, yeah, like, you gotta really pop it. Like, always have that confidence. Like, don't ever doubt yourself. I don't care how ugly you may think you is. Fuck all that, nigga, you fly. Ladies, if you're watching this, you beautiful as hell. Go up to the nigga. Yeah, because niggas like when females approach. Don't get it twisted. I love when a female come up to me. Damn, yeah, you fine. Oh, thank you, baby. You fine, too. I'm going to just tell her she fine because you told me I'm fine. Damn, thank you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, it go hand in hand. You just got to be confident. Like, it's, look, look, look yourself in the mirror, like, and just know before you walk out of the crib, you fly to the motherfucker. You that nigga. You that bitch. Straight up. And can't nobody tell you differently. You have to tell yourself that every day though. You gotta wake up and let yourself know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you think confidence is, you could practice that or is it, is it, is it, is it natural? Uh, I'm both. Yeah, both. I think you could just have it and then you can like build yourself up to like look in the mirror like you said and be like, yeah, I look good today. I'm gonna give me a little yeah. I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, mm-hmm. I think both. I got shit, so. Yeah, that's just what, it, what that confidence should be about, man. So this last question. This question I want to know too. Oh, okay. And they want to know, I want to know, everybody wants to probably want to know. Uh-huh. What is the fee? Oh, what's the fee? Mm-hmm. What's the fee? Pippa P, you got to pay the fee to lay with me because I'm giving you a whole what they want to see. <laughs> now the fee, man, shit, the fee, it's, it's the fee coming, you know, different sizes and shapes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like the fee, the fee really like, overall and all, the fee is the motherfucking soul. Like the fee is the loyalty. Like I need all that. Like I need I need us to be one, not tons, you feel me? Like 
like like like what's yours is what's mine, baby. Like that's that's you know what I'm saying. Got to go like that. And if you like that, it ain't for me. It ain't for P. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. But like I said, that's just one person of the fee. It's plenty of birds of the fee. The fee can be the, the fee can be a lot of things. Like you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Like what the girl doing for you, my boy? Like you know what I'm saying? Like she ain't bringing nothing to that table to elevate your lifestyle. She is not paying a fee, and she is not to be around you. You know what I'm saying? Like she ought to be. If she ain't putting money in your hand like directly, she need to be doing it indirectly, helping you get your shit up. Cause you ain't gonna fuck with a nigga if he ain't helping you get your shit up. No. Are you? So why can't niggas be the same? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got to pay the fee somehow, some way. Like I said, don't gotta be directly racks in the hand, give her money, whatever. But it can be indirectly too. But if a female around me just know she paying, like, like it's 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 different ways. You know what I'm saying? She be paying that fee. Ain't no just. Lodging around for the free. These rhymes. I'm just saying. For the free. I'm just saying. That's that's just that's just how the game go around this way, man. But just to let y'all know, man. Yeah, that shit come in all shapes and sizes, man. That shit come in different form. You know what I'm saying? But you said that was the last question, so I guess mm -hmm. that wraps it up. That's just for this time, though. If there's more, I'm sure at this video, y'all gonna wanna ask more questions. Y'all gonna really wanna get into it with a nigga. I will be, you know, answering all of them. So DM me on Instagram at YNH Primetime. All that type of shit, man. But yeah, man, I'm finna create some more bangers. I'm finna be gone. So I'm out this thing, man. It's your boy, Primetime. Hit. Primetime, that's my daddy. Lexi, Lexi, yeah, yeah. Lexi, Lexi, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stacy, Stacy, yeah. When yeah. they pay me, pay me, yeah, yeah. I can't do nothing for free. Watch how you motherfucking talking to me. Yeah. I keep that rocket on me. All of my diamonds are water by G's. Yeah.